Damn, bitches. Big Daddy B, 243, coming at you live from the fucking AG. What's up, everybody, in the TTC? Big Daddy B coming back. First video since the end of the season. Um, tried to hold back. Wait until all this bullshit was settled with the lockout and all this bullshit. You know, I'm happy with the Ravens draft. I think the Ravens did pretty good in the draft. I mean, in the beginning, I wasn't happy that they drafted a dude that was uh, didn't have the best uh, uh, record going, but uh, I, I think we did all right. Um, just want to say to everybody, uh, thanks for all your subscriptions and, and um, you know, your support last year. My first year in the TTC, had a blast, it was fun, great times, uh, really enjoyed myself, it was it was uh, time consuming, fun time, I can say it like that, you know, we all know on here that do the videos, and even some of the typers, you know, it takes a lot of time and effort to do what we do week in and week out uh, supporting our teams and uh, I have much respect for everybody on there especially the guys that make videos man I mean you know that you make a video and you're coming hard and you make two three videos a week man it takes a lot of time it takes time from your family the things you love to do but you love to do this so uh, much props to everybody that makes videos on here and uh, supports their team so, to get this thing started, I guess I might as well start it off right with my boy, Mr. Ten Legends. Mr. Steeler. Motherfucker. You don't know how bad it hurt for me and the, and the Raven fans across the nation to watch us lose to you fucks again. Especially since we had the game won. Halftime it was won. And we gave it away. We fucked up and gave it away. To have to come on here and eat fucking crow to you pieces of shit. Undescribable. But I did it. Because no matter what people say about me, I like to think I'm a stand-up guy. And eating crow is what you got to do. You talk shit, your team loses, you eat crow. And I did it. And it hurt. But I did it. Then you, you motherfucker. Go to your seventh heaven. Take that Green Bay ass whooping. Lose. And come on here and give out some half hearted crow. But you know what's you know what ten, ten legends? I wouldn't expect any less from a Steeler fan. Because that's how you motherfuckers roll. As long as you're on top. And you're getting the calls and winning the games and the Super Bowl and winning Super Bowls with calls. These guys are on top of the world. But when the game gets called right, you don't get that call that gives you the game. You take that ass whooping and you lose. You come on here with some fucking half ass crow. Motherfucker, I have respect for you. When you made that video, when you lost to us, you had the Raven gear on, I was like, you know what? Steel Legends is alright, man. He lived up to the bet that he made, and he gave his crow. But then, you do some shit like that. 
after the Super Bowl, you know better than the bandwagon motherfuckers you got on your team. All the bandwagon fans you got. The ones like Matty V from the CT and Steel City 72 from the SC. Don't even live in Pittsburgh. Don't even live in Pennsylvania. I'm a Pens I'm a Pittsburgh fan. Been born and bred. Fuck you, motherfuckers. And Tin Legends, fuck you. I lost respect for you, man. Dude, you should have gave Crow. You should have gave the Crow. A proper Crow. Dude, you made it to the Super Bowl. You should have been happy that it you got there. Because your team didn't deserve to get there. You guys beat two teams that were better than you to get to the Super Bowl. The team that wears this jersey behind me and the green and white. Lucky to get past them. And then you're going to get in there and lose and give some shit crow. Fuck you. Fuck you. I'm telling you guys now. I'm addressing the Steelers fans. These little motherfuckers on here. You know what? I don't even want to talk shit about little kids. You know, but you know what? This steel town champs coming on here talking shit to everyone. Shut the fuck up, little boy. Shut the fuck up. Before you get your feelings hurt. I'm not even going to say anything more about you. I'm not even going to talk about your looks. Because you know what the fuck you look like. You know how you sound. Like an idiot. And your little buddy. Big Ben, whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck, whatever the fuck. Retard. Dude. Just a little, just a little hint for you guys. Do not come the fuck up on here trying to talk shit in the TTC with your Facebook pages posted on your YouTube account. Don't do that shit, man. You make it too fucking easy, man. People will go to your page, which I'm not going to do, and grab pictures, especially of you, Mr. Big Ben. I'm in the closet, but I want to come out with your gay-ass girlfriends and the Glee Club. Dude, don't even come on here talking like you're hard-ass, man. I'm better trash talker than you. I'm better trash. Thank you for your club, man. Shut the fuck up. Sit the fuck down with your little ass. Steel Town Champs, shut the fuck up, sit down, don't get your feelings hurt, you little cabbage patch looking motherfucker. Dude, let the men take care of this, man. Little boy, sit down. This ain't for you, man. Look, it's bad enough we got a little motherfucker on here, five foot three, trying to talk shit, acting like he's all hard. I mean, at least my boy Steel Town Champs will, will break out some rap music to make everybody think he's hard. I'm a hard motherfucker. I'm going to break this rap shit out on you, yo. Matty V, shut the fuck up. Sit down. You bandwagon motherfucker. I love the Steelers. I love the Yankees. Whoever wins the, N Whoever wins the NHL this year, that's my team. Whoever wins the... Whoever wins uh, the lacrosse championship this year, that's my team. Whoever wins the girls' softball championship this year, oh yeah, Arizona State, that's my team. Because I'm a bandwagon, motherfucker. Shut the fuck up. Motherfucker, you ain't hard either. I'll come down there and bitch slap your ass in Connecticut. But you know what? I will say this, dude. Even though there's a lot of people in here that think you and I, you know, argue and battle each other and like, you know, them motherfuckers hate each other. I bring my ass up to Connecticut and have a beer with your ass. It'd be a natty bow, but we'd have a beer together. Because you're alright, man. You're an alright guy. You know. But, you know, bring it this year, man. Don't be a pussy. Don't sit back. Don't blame it on the job. Motherfucker, I work night shift, man. 
and I still get up and make videos. Bring it. And I'll hurt your feelings. And the RRG will hurt your feelings. I'm telling you right now, steel curtain, tin curtain crew, aluminum curtain crew. Because that's how weak you motherfuckers are. Bring that shit this year, and we'll stop all over you like we did last year. Because you guys didn't show up any time this year until after the game. Whoa, whoa, we won, we won. Fuck you motherfuckers, man. Bring that shit before the game and talk shit. Ravens. Winning the AFC North this year. I don't even want to give these motherfuckers props. Even though there are a couple guys in their group that I got I got respect for. One of them I don't. I'll give it to you, Steel Town champs. I don't care for Cleveland Brown 216 either. He's a fucking pussy. Motherfucker, when his team's doing bad, his fucking computer's broke. When they win a couple games, all of a sudden his computer works. He's an illiterate, piece of shit, thinking he's from the hood white boy. I got no res no fucking respect for him. Motherfucker thinks because he's assistant, assistant, assistant to the assistant, fry master at McDonald's, he's the shit. Fuck him. But... Cleveland, Cleveland takes second place in the AFC North this year. Steelers, close third. Cincinnati, you know where you are without Carson, because Carson's not coming back. These guys are done. Ravens win the AFC North this year. Deal with it, motherfuckers. Big Daddy B, I'm out. Bam, bitches!